What's up guys, this is Froden here with another little tutorial which is going to hopefully help you. Now many people have asked me this so um, I think I'll do it and it is one of these things where you won't really know um, until you actually just like play around with it and then it's like oh that's how you do it or if you actually understand the terms. Um, and this is going to be like um, a smooth movements and solid linear movements. So for example, <coughs> fuck sorry, <coughs> I've got a bad throat. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Fuck. Alright. <coughs> That's not good. Alright, so all we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste some <coughs> cubes together. <coughs> Keyframe them both on naught. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab them, uh, come to about 30 frames, and just bring them forward together and keyframe. So now we've got a nice smooth animation. So it starts off moving slowly, then it builds speed constant speed then slows down what we're going to do for this one is we're going to add a linear movement onto it so what we do is we click mm -hmm. the keyframe and where it says interpolation you want that to linear and you want that for both keyframes so from this keyframe to this keyframe there is a linear motion which means there is a constant speed between the two there's no starting off slowly you know it just bang out into the speed so if I now play it you can see what happens. Do you see the movement? Look at the time it takes for this cube. It just starts and stops. This one, however, it, oops, what have I done there? No, I want that down here. Nope, I don't want that down there. What's going on? Ah, don't like that. <clears throat> um, I don't know how to do that. Uh, layout standard. There we go. So yeah, the the the, the last block obviously just goes straight and ends. However, the other one with the smooth animation, it starts off slowly. So this one overtakes um, first. However, once it builds speed, it speeds up really quickly and then slows down again. However. They both land in the same position on frame 30. So it depends what kind of animation you want. I mean, I usually go for smooth animations when I'm doing like arms and that. However, if I'm going to be <coughs> doing an animation, um, instead of doing like a, a whole fight scene in one project, I'll cut it up into several projects. Um, so I'll do one little like a kick and a punch, and then I'll save that as a project. And I'll go into another project, change the camera, and then just carry on the fight scene, just so it doesn't fuck up. Um, however, the like the positions are the same on the character, so <clears throat> that's what I would do. <clears throat> At the start of an animation, I'll just you know go to frame zero, select everything, right click, select children, and then I'll click on this keyframe and go to linear, and it will say multi because you've got multiple values, and that means anything that it starts off with, it starts out with a, like you know a fast movement. You know, it goes straight into it, and then the same with the end. It ends with the same fast movement. So when you're trying to edit the clips together, it doesn't just go, oh, uh, you know, um, to, you know, speed up, quick, slow down, speed up, you know, slow down, speed up, slow, slow down, as it would with a smooth animation. So having it linear, it would just be bang, 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 um, constantly going through, and it's really nice for editing. And you won't have to cut off some frames and whatnot. So yeah, that's a little tip for you guys if you wanted to know. So please like and comment. Please give me tutorial ideas. Anything you want to see, anything you want to know, please put in the description and I will I will do them. So um, that'd be good. Cheers. See ya.